Hello and welcome to the JS Fridge Alpha. This alpha is a test run of the JS Fridge experience. We have been working hard on creating a brand new way to learn front-end web technology and we sure hope you like it. Please give us feedback on your experience. Was it awesome? Was it intuitive? Or did it crash? No matter what you tell us, it will push us in the right direction. So let's just jump into how JS Fridge works first, and then I will tell you more about the concept and our goals for this service. So this is an empty course on JS Fridge. I have called this course Alpha, and we see that the first scene is named Scene 1. We also see that I'm in edit mode, which means that I am the author of this uh, course. Here I can record the scene and I can add new scenes and remove them, except the first scene that has to, has to stay. Uh, you can have multiple scenes and you can record for up to three minutes on a single scene. What we see further down here is the main index.html file. It has some content, which is basically just hello world. We also have the possibility to add scripts and styles and even templates to this scene. On the right side, we see the sandbox, and that's the result of the code on the left side. So what we're going to do now is just uh, add some files to this scene. And we do that by clicking the dropdown, adding main.js. As we can see, it jumps automatically into that file. We're also going to add a style, which we will call style CSS. And then we'll jump back to index.html and actually load these files. And this is a style sheet and it has an URL of style.css. And we will load our script, uh, which is main.js. And script. So what I'm going to do now is hit the control S key uh, as I'm on a PC or you would hit the command S key. And now this is my starting point on this scene and we are ready to start recording. Okay, now we're hitting the record button and as we can see the browser asks me for permission to, to start recording from the microphone. I will allow that and now it has started recording. So what we're going to do is do some changes here. We'll jump into the style CSS file and we will change the color of the text to red. Doing that and hitting Control S or Command S, we see that the sandbox is updated. We're also going to jump into the main file and we're just going to set a timeout here for two seconds. And we will point to document body style color is blue and saving that and after two seconds it changes to blue so let's stop this recording as we can see it starts compressing this recording and while it's doing that we can review our scene so I'll hit play now and now we hear the voice of the recording and we see it actually play back what I did and you see the recording jumping into files and typing code and it even uh, triggers the save event that was done during the recording. As you can see here, it changes to red. And this is live. This is just playback of events. So everything is happening live. Um, what you can do here on the timeline is jump around and it will synchronize up the events and display the, the current duration correctly. Uh, so imagine you're watching this course now and you want to fiddle around with the code. You want to try something out. Maybe there was something you didn't understand. What you can do here is actually pause the, the playback and let's do that now. And what happens now is that, it's that it opens up the code editor. So I can now change this blue color to green and hit Control S or Command S on a Mac and you see it now changes to green instead of blue. So this shows the power of, uh, of JS Fridge. It's like a video, only that you can pause it at any time and just dive into the code and fiddle around with it. Now what's important is when you want to return to, to the original recording, uh, you can just hit play 
and it will synchronize back up to the original version. And as you can see, it changes to blue again. So yeah, uh, I hope this was a okay introduction to showing what's the powers of JS Fridge. As I said, it's the ability to just dive into the code whenever you want uh, and do the changes you want. JS Fridge aims to be a new and better way to learn front-end web technology. We are taking the best from video education and our beloved Fiddle services and putting it into one awesome concept. Now, JS Fridge is to be an open service where anyone who has something they want to teach gets a chance to do that. As a student, you get a powerful tool to help you understand concepts and APIs of the thousands of front-end tools that are out there. Based on the feedback of our alpha, we will go for beta. We are already working on more features like curriculums that are a mix of different courses from different authors. We are also working on a console that supports recording of events so that the author can explain results in the JavaScript environment as well as the browser environment. Based on our feedback, we hope to have our beta ready by the end of September. Please let us know if you are interested in creating your own courses which we will open up during testing of the beta. When we hopefully hit the first version, we will also add a brand new design to JS Fridge. Thank you so much for testing out our service and please give us some feedback. It is very valuable for us.